Goats are very popular to have on acreages. Today we're going to get some tips on raising goats. We have Deb Van Worthausen with us. And Deb has a, a whole herd of goats. She's going to tell us a little about them. First of all, can you tell me, Deb, what breeds do we have here? This one here is a Toggenberg. Toggenbergs are the brown with white markings. This one and this one are Oberhosley. They're the reddish color. All They'll right. have a black stripe down and their back. And these are dairy goats? Those are dairy goats, yes. Okay, because I know mm -hmm. we have goats for different purposes. Right. Dairy, meat, fiber, and so those are dairy. And what about this one? This white one here, she's got a red head. That's a boar goat. That's a meat goat. Okay. They're getting really popular now. All right. Great. Now, tell us a little bit, first of all, about housing for goats. What do you need? You're going to want to have a, an area that's, uh, you know, this is a nice size. Hopefully okay. you have your roof dry. All right. So you don't want anything soppy wet. If you're having babies and it's wet, you can get, um, the goats can get coccidiosis. All right. And that is deadly to goats. Okay. So, so you're going to need dry. to have it dry. How about bedding? Bedding, you can use straw. Or you can use um, wood shavings. They, a lot of people use wood shavings, but right. it's more expensive. Sometimes we use corn stalks. And then do you run your goats outside at all? Yes, we do. Um, we've got pasture that we run them on. Um, if you're going to be showing them, though, I like to try and keep them in the dry lot. All right. Which means they're going to have to have hay and they're going to have to have grain. What do you feed your goats? We usually <laughs> feed them a, a goat chow type mixture. Um, and it's going to have a pellet in it that's got the protein minerals okay. in it. Corn and a little bit of oats in it usually. Molasses makes it sweeter. Okay. Um, that works really good with the dairy goats. That way they drink water after they eat. So how often do you milk the dairy goats? The dairy goats are milked twice a day. Morning and, and night. Morning and night. Okay. A 12-hour milking um, is usually what we're trying to make sure we have no more milk in other than that. And how much milk would you get then a day? These girls probably give about a half a gallon morning uh, and night. Half a and, gallon. And um, some of the other breeds, they'll give probably close a to a gallon. More. All right. I know we have a couple goats that we use to feed our orphan lambs. Do you do that at all? Yes, I've done that. Right now, we, we aren't drinking the milk right now, um, but I have done that. I've taken the milk and I used it for bucket calves. And at times, we've had mother goats that they did not have milk for their own babies for right. some reason. And um, that milk then is given to the orphan babies. Now, let's talk about veterinary care. I know hoof trimming is important. Right, hoof trimming is important. And try and keep How those often do you do that? It, it just kind of depends on, you know, just kind of watch your herd and see if you've got some hooves that are starting to get a little long, just do that. Um, but I, when I'm showing them, I, I have to keep them down really close okay. to the bottom you of the hoof. You trim more because you're mm -hmm. showing. Right. And then I know worming is very important. Right. How worming. often do you do that? That can depend on the year. Sheep and goats are the little tricky animals that sometimes you may have to worm them three weeks apart all okay. summer long, depending on the, how the year goes. But you right. just we, we look for signs in our goats. And one thing I look for is a loose stool. All right. um, normally goats drop little pellets called marbles is right. what we kind of look for. As long as they're doing that, then I know they're healthy as far as but that is. But if it's loose, then but you But if it's really loose, um, I'm going, that goat needs to have a worming dose. Okay. And at that time, I may do the whole herd, or, you know, if we just got done, we may just give that one an extra special dose again just All to make right. sure she's got a good dose. I know some people like to get goats so they'll eat the weeds. Are they big weed eaters? Yes, they go out into a pasture area, and um, they do have the little burdock out there, and they like to eat the burdock weeds off right. really good. Some of the other weeds they ignore. And what do I need as far as the number of acres, maybe, or? You wouldn't need very much at all. I've known people that, that don't even have more than half an acre, and they've just got a little, probably a little shed, maybe in half the size of this. Right. They don't have a pasture for their goats to go on, so they're basically feeding them hay and grain all the time, but just having them in a little sheltered area so they can get out of the sun and the rain. I see you have a little baby here. How old is this? <laughs> this one's about two weeks old now, and it's a little boar goat, a little doe. And her mother's right down here. She had twins for us. And, um, and what kind of care does a little baby take? Well, her care right now is pretty easy. Um, we're going to, before long here, when those horns start coming through, she'll have the horns up here. All right. We'll have to get her dehorned. When she's first born, though, if you can, you need to put some right. iodine on the navel so you don't pick up any germs around okay. the farm. 
hooves you don't have to worry about right now because they're just the way they should be. And in probably another week, we'll probably give her some warmer medicine to get her started with that. Well, I appreciate it. It sounds like goats are a lot of fun to raise then. You enjoy them. Yes, we do. Thank you. Now we're going to get some tips for living the country life. Looking for the latest gadgets and gear? Check out these cool country tools. Keep clippings under control with the DR Leaf and Lawn Vacuum. This high-powered unit sucks up leaves, grass clippings, pine needles, and more. The powerful shredding action reduces clippings to one-tenth their original volume, which means less waste for you to dispose of. The DR is available with a range of accessories to keep you a step ahead of yard work. Get in the swing of things with the Zariva Automatic Gate Opener. With the touch of a button, you can open the gate to just about any type of swing fence, from chain link to ornamental to panel. The low voltage system is so easy to install yourself, you don't even need an electrician. Put the power to access your property in your hands with the Zariva Automatic Gate Opener. Give old floors a new look and longer life with Yuko. Commercial grade and water-based, this two-coat epoxy system gives you a durable, protective finish. Roll it on over wood or concrete floors for protection from chemicals, abrasions, and impacts. U-Coat also stands up to moisture and welding spatter, and it's so easy to clean. Give your floors a new lease on life with U-Coat. To get your cool country tools, log on to livingthecountrylife.com.